water. Ah, I forgot water. I should be in the Philippines, but I'm not. I'm still here on Guam, making videos. Uh, I've been getting a lot of inquiries lately about uh, what it's like to live on Guam and the cost of living. So what I'm going to do is a series of videos uh, over the next couple months that uh, show a little bit about Guam and the culture and the cost of living. Today. We're going for a ride in my neighborhood to show you a little bit about the housing situation and some of the options from high to low. Let's go. Starting out here, we're nearly in the heart of Tamuning, um, and we live maybe less than a mile from the beach, straight ahead in this direction. Um, but I'm going to take you to the cliff line, where all the high-end homes are, and then work my way back uh, this direction. Um, Tamuning is very densely populated because of all the condominiums and the apartments, but there are some houses here. Um, but this is the heart of Guam, commerce and uh, business and tourism so uh, sit back and relax and let's go
Oh no you don't. Go home. Go home. Go home. Income dependent apartment units. I wouldn't call them low, low income, but income dependent meaning you have to qualify for a one, two, or three bedroom based on your monthly income. Last time I checked, I didn't qualify to live here. Made too many dollars. Hey, now here's something I might be able to afford. Uh, maybe not. So I think this video gives you a good idea that if you want to live close to the beach and where all the action is, you're going to pay the price. If you move toward the interior of the island, you're going to find a rent or going to drop off a little bit. And I have friends that are in the five, six, seven hundred dollar range, so it all depends on what you want and what you need. The nice thing about living in the, uh, the mix of things is the convenience, of course. And in our case, we have two neighborhood markets, both within walking distance of our condo. I call them super sorry, sorry stores, actually. As someone who retired from real estate, 
it's always been kind of my second nature. Um, I mean, my interest has always peaked around uh, staying apprised of property and property values. Um, and I use a lot of online resources uh, when I've got nothing better to do just to search out properties. And aside from all the individual realtor listed sites, the one site I like to go to uh, is called guamhomefinder.com. I'll leave a link down below in, in the description, but uh, it uh, lists both for sale properties and rentals. And of course, if you ever have any questions about Guam real estate and you don't feel like talking to a real estate professional, you can always contact me and I can uh, see if I can dig up some information. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching. Think it's possible the Beverly Hillbillies left California and moved to Guam?